In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages for new Google Ads lead. So let's say that you're using Google Ads as an online advertising platform, where every time you receive a new lead, so you want that the information about this new lead should be shared with your team on WhatsApp. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between Google Ads and WhatsApp, and the same thing can be done using Pabbly Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Ads, and your action application would be WhatsApp. Now, how can you do this, integrate and automate this entire process yourself? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you already have an account with us, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up for free. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm already an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And here we have reached the All Apps page. Let's click on Access Now for Pabli Connect. Here we have reached the dashboard of the application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is that every time I have received a new lead through Google Lead Ads, then automatically a WhatsApp message should be shared with my team informing them about the lead details. So I'm going to name it as Google Lead Ads WhatsApp Integration. And now let's click on Create. So as soon as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. So let's say in this particular case, every time you receive a new lead through Google Lead Ads, then automatically a WhatsApp message would be sent to the person. That would be your action. So here I'm going to choose the application Google Ads. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. This is the event that will make your workflow start. This would be new lead form entry which means that this workflow will trigger only when a new lead is created from a lead form extension so I'm going to click on this and now here you can see that you have received a webhook URL going to act as a bridge to connect Google Ads with Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information now we have to follow the following steps so that we can set up this connection so now I'm going to take you to my Google Ads account so this is my Google Ads account and here we have to go to Ads and Assets. As I click on that, we have to go to Assets. Now once we are here, you can see this plus icon. Let's click on this. And here to create a lead form, we'll cl click on Lead Form. So once we are here, we can create a lead form or a campaign. Now I'm going to take you back. I have already created a form here, which is Travel Booking Form. Let me show you this. So the headline is travel booking form. The business name is traveling agency and the description is fill this form and we will arrange a stay for you. You can create your own forms here. And then we have the following question. So I have inculcated name, city, phone number, email address. And then as I take you down here, I have written the submission message, which is thank you for inquiry. Then again, there's description. So someone from our team will contact you shortly. Now, is there any call to action? So no, if you wish to add you have the options to visit site download learn more and shop now now as i take you down so now here you can see other data integration options as you click on this here it is asking you to paste the webhook url so basically this webhook url that we had received through pabli connect we have to copy this and paste it over here so that there can be a connect setup now here we have to provide the key. It can be any random key. So I have written one, two, three, four. And now it is asking you to send test data. So if I take you back to Pabli Connect, here you can see we have to log into the application where we have added the webhook URL. And then we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So since I cannot capture the real leads, since there's no campaign running, so I'm just going to send a dummy test data so that it can be captured through Pabli Connect. And then I can show you exactly how the setup has to be done. I'm just going to click on send test data. So here we can see that the test data has been sent, which should be now received through Pabli Connect. So here you can see that, yes, we have received the 
API response. So this is the string value, then, then we have the name of the city, then we have the email address, phone number, name of the person, etc. So we have received this information. Now my objective is that with this information, a message should be shared with my team on WhatsApp telling them about the lead received. So I'm going to add this action step and this time I'm going to use WhatsApp a cloud API. And here it would be sent template message. Let's click on connect. Now here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm going to click on Add New Connection. And now to set up this connection, here we need a token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. To receive the same, I'm going to take you to my Metaphor Developers page. Let's go to My Applications. And here you can see that I already have created a few applications. You can create your own by clicking on this green tab over here. Now I'm going to take you to this application, My Connect Message app. Once we are here on the left hand side, you can see WhatsApp. Let's click on this drop down and we have to click on getting started. As soon as you do that, here you can see that yes, we have received the information required. So we have the token here. This is the phone number ID and this is the WhatsApp business account ID. There is one extremely important thing that you need to keep in your mind, which is this is just a temporary access token, which means that if you create your workflow using this token, it will expire in a day. So within 23 hours, your workflow will stop working. To avoid this, you will have to create a permanent access token. A dedicated video is given in the description box. You can check that out and follow the step by step process to do the same. Now, since this is just a test case, I'm using temporary access token. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste it over here. Then again, the phone number the ID, and now I'm going to paste it here. And finally, the WhatsApp business account ID. Let's copy this and paste it over here. So once done, let's click on save to set up this connection. So here you can see that yes, WhatsApp Cloud API is now connected with Pabli Connect. Now here we need to fill the template name, the language code, then the recipient's mobile number, etc. First, let's understand what's a template. A template is a pre-written message that can be shared through WhatsApp or any other social media platform where you do not have to write the same message again and again. So now I'm going to take you back to Metaphor Developers page and here Step two says that to create your own message template, click here. Let's click there. So once we are here, you can see that I've already created these templates. You can create your own template by clicking on this tab, create template. Now I already have created a template. So I'm going to look for the template that I've created, which is admin message. Here it is. So let's just go through this. Here there are no headers. So you can always actually add a header if you wish to send a video or let's say a PDF file, etc., or an image along with your message. So you can select it over here. Now let's come to the body. So it is written. This is to inform you that we have received the following lead details. This is mobile number, name, email address, regards. So this is a message that has been written here. You can see certain numbers within double curly braces. These are known as variables. Basically, these values can always change with a new message. Now let's check the preview. So it will look like this. This is to inform you that we have received the following lead. These are the details regards. I hope we are clear with this. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here we are going to look for this admin message. So let's click on this. Now here you can see that the language code has already been captured by the system and so is the selected template ID. Here we have to provide the mobile number of the recipient. Now this is going to be static. Why? Because this is the number of my team. So it is not going to change every time. So I'm going to manually write it as. Now here remember that it is written that you have to enter the recipient's mobile number with the country code but without the plus sign. So I have added a number here and now the body field. So this is the name of my lead. So I'm going to go to step one here. I'm going to again map the data. Let's look for name. Here it is. And then we have to map the mobile number. So this is the mobile number. And finally, the email address. So let's click on this. And this is the email address. Let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received a WhatsApp message. Now I'm going to show you the WhatsApp ID that I have. And yes, here you can see that I have received a message. This has been sent to my team member. And here we have received all the information about the new lead generated through Google lead ads. I hope this is very much clear to you. And this basically proves that this integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back 
to the process that we have just followed this is an extremely easy two step integration process where our trigger application was google ads and the event was new lead form entry and then our action application was whatsapp cloud api and the event was sent template message if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the same workflow that we have worked on it is there in the description box you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any other suggestion or advice for a particular integration that you are looking for then do not hesitate please write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.